I forget what year this thing is. Oh, 1984. And it was an R100 CS X police bike, Eurospec from Canada. This is the Lynn Commission. It's a ripper. Usual recipe, short wheelbase, loads of power, five-speed box, modern front end, big brakes. It's quite clearly a rough job, I think. It's fabulous. This comes from the range of 81 to 84. Dual shock, dual shock, late model bike. So, yes. Simon, my yeah. little Philistine friend. Uh, this later engine with the finned timing cover came on bikes with two shocks and one shock. The two shocks was 80 to 84. The one that you want is the 81 to 84 with the Brembo brakes. Not that we use the front end, but you know. Then there was the mono shock version with the finned timing cover, which was 85 to 93. What's great about the Euro R100 CS we use new pistons and cylinders anyway because we put Euro high compression stuff on everything, but it came with the big valve, big port heads. And then we twin plug them. So that was brilliant. And just let's just talk about the benefits of that. If you consider that an engine is just a big air pump, more air in, more air out, more power. Big valves and big intake ports means more air in. So you can go faster. A horizontally opposed boxer engine has a crankshaft going down the middle. Okay? A crankshaft, just a, a big shaft. <laughs> it's just a just... crankshaft down the middle of the block, right? Mm -hmm. Middle of the bike. And then off of that, you've got connecting rods. The rods that are connected to the crank with a piston on each end. My fist is the piston. Mm -hmm. So as it turns, yeah, that's your engine. Mm -hmm. And then it's smacking again. It's not smacking, but it's compressing the gases at the head. So the more compression you have, yeah. the bigger the explosion and the more go you get. So if you've got larger valves in the head here, you're getting more air in and more air out. The hole is bigger. Ta -da. And is this tank, would that have been on the CS? Or is this a tank from another bike? Don't know if this tank came on this bike originally, but certainly a tank of this shape would have come on this donor bike. Got it. The rear subframe is completely our design. The shock absorbers were provided by Olins to us for this bike. The exhaust system is uh, all stainless it's with a reverse cone muffler. It's immaculate. It's lovely, isn't it? I love the colour that stainless exhaust system goes when the bike's running at its optimum. That champagne, it's just beautiful. The majority of our big builds now get the handmade custom handlebar with internal throttle and all that jazz. This is our other option. So this is a Renthal 7 8 bar with factory switch gear, which is new. But what's the trick part is that this bike would have originally had a handlebar mounted brake master cylinder that looks like a little urine sample pot up here. Yeah. But we use the under tank master yeah. cylinder and we use the the switch gear from a mid 70s slash six. So these are old parts that we've stripped and seracoated and rebuilt with new bushings in the levers. And then we've got turn signals in the end of the Oh, let's fire up those turn signals. I'm sure. That's how that works. What brand are they? These are Moto Gadget. Oh, let's go with the rear light, huh? Yeah. Oh, what's the headlight doing? One second. Oh, the headlight's wicked. Watch this. Oh, yeah. This is from our friends at Motodemic. Hey. 
It's an adaptive LED. So it's the light where you lean left and it lights up more some more left. What about um, the speedometer? What have we got there? Motor gadget. Can you see that? There's a little dance. Okay, got it. This is a 1984 BMW R100 CS X Canadian police bike. Gloss black, matte black, paint scheme with a very classic white pinstripe. It's a ripper. 